Today we're going to be making creamy chicken pasta. Let's get started. So we have olive oil, salt and pepper, frozen defrosted garlic, parsley dried, oregano dried, fresh chicken sliced, frozen spinach, pasta, now this is whole wheat pasta, chicken stock, cream, parmesan, butter. So first of all we need to set the crock pot to brown saute. We now want to add the oil. So we can see on the status it's about halfway up to hot temperature, therefore we can begin to add the chicken. The garlic. Salt and pepper. Now the chicken's approximately halfway cooked, you can add the oregano, and the dried parsley. The reason for waiting approximately halfway is the chicken will require a lot more cooking than the herbs, therefore because of the fact that the herbs are quite delicate, we don't want to burn them. So we want to wait for the chicken to mostly cook, add the herbs, and then the herbs in turn can infuse the flavour into the chicken, and they will cook on a shorter time frame. We now want to add our pasta. Add our spinach. And our stock. Before we add the stock, we just want to give it a gentle stir. And everything a good stir in the bowl. Make sure the lid is set to closed and not vent. Lock it on the top and select manual and four minutes. We're also going to be giving this a four minute natural pressure release. So once the four minute timer is counted down and completed, we're going to leave a further four minutes to depressurize and infuse. At that point, we can then create the sauce. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the plates, prepare the drinks, and prepare cutlery. So the pressure cooker's now finished its timing of four minutes. We're now going to wait four minutes for a natural pressure release. The four minute natural pressure release has just completed. So we can switch off the pressure cooker and depressurize. So once again, if you wish to, you can add a tea towel over the top and that will just reduce the steam. So for the next part, we just need to give this a stir and then we can begin to make the sauce.
So next we need to add the butter. And now the cream. We now want to put this on to saute mode. And after maybe a minute or so, we can add the cheese. Now it's at this point, we may wish to just taste the pasta just to check that you're happy with the consistency, i.e. whether it's al dente, has a slight bite to it, or whether it's soft. Now for me, I'm quite happy with that. One more thing you could do is add a small amount more water if you wish to, which will make it more saucy. The other thing you can do is add more milk. If you want to add milk or cream extra, then that's entirely up to you, and that will just make it slightly saucier. Meanwhile, we can switch this off now. As the cheese is melted into the dish, and all of the ingredients are evenly distributed, So now, with a ladle, it's time to serve. So now it's time for the taste test. The chicken is extremely soft and tender, perfectly flavoured by the herbs. I often worry that chicken's gonna be dry, but this is very, very moist and perfectly succulent. The pasta's perfectly, I think, al dente. So it's got a little tiny bit of bite to it, and that's how I tend to prefer it. The cheese is quite subtle, so you can add more, but I think the flavor and the creaminess is absolutely spot on. Adding spinach to this adds an enormous amount of nutrition. Spinach is very high in iron, and is very, very healthy and nutritious. And having a dish that's very decadent and very creamy, balancing it with something like spinach and herbs is a very, very good way to make it more nutritious and more healthy. This dish is extremely simple. As you saw, one pot, everything goes in and away we go. It takes a very, very short amount of time to make this as well. So eight minutes total, obviously not accounting for the heat up time, means you can have chicken past, creamy chicken pasta ready to go in under half an hour.
like and subscribe for the latest recipes as and when they become available. Please check out the links in the bottom of the description should you wish to find any further information regarding recipes or anything I use in the video today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy cooking the food as much as I enjoy cooking the food. And I hope you enjoy eating the food as much as I enjoy eating the food. Thanks again. See you in the next one.